Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I want to thank you for joining us today as we bring you a program on words and music of thanksgiving. We will be listening to music and hearing scripture texts from the Old and New Testaments, which remind us of the importance of giving thanks. Thank you for joining us. Both scripture and hymn texts remind us of God's blessings for which we should be thankful every day. A hymn of thanksgiving and praise that is one of our favorites on the joy of music is Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, Tune My Heart to Sing Thy Praise. We hear the great bass Jerome Hines sing this hymn of praise and thanksgiving. The goodness of the Lord causes us to give thanks. All through scripture, we are reminded of God's goodness and faithfulness to us in every circumstance of life. 1 Chronicles 16, 8 and 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Make known his deeds among the people, for his mercy endureth forever. <laughs>
Throughout both the Old and New Testaments, people gave thanks in song and with voice and instruments. Ezra 3.11 states, And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord. Psalm 69.30 reads, I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. Thank you. 
The scriptures tell us every good gift cometh from above, that we are to give thanks in all circumstances. Ephesians 5.20 Giving thanks always for all things unto God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And 1 Corinthians 9.11 Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes us to give thanks to God. In the words of Cecil Francis Alexander, we describe the beauty surrounding us. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, God made their glowing colors and made their tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Colossians 3.17 exhorts each of us in these words, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father by Him.
In Revelation, we are told that thanksgiving is due the Lord for who He is. Revelation 7.12 reads, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program entitled Words and Music of Thanksgiving. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endureth forever. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.